up uh, part two here. Uh, we were discussing Blair's two documents. Uh, the document is over here to right, and the known document is over here to the left. Um, you know, all I can say about this is the majestic document over here on the right um, is very similar to the one that we saw in episode four as far as the type and as far as how bold it looked, I've, I've already said that. I don't. I don't want to repeat myself, but the more that we look at it, the more it, it is just very similar. So, um, because of how it looks, and because um, of the almost word-for-word -word body of the message compared to the known document, the location of the I agree HST signature or initials compared to the signature. Um, you know, when you just compare the two, the, the, the proportion of where, or if you look here, um, of where this is signed in relation to the the C.H. C.H. Hume's line, or Hummel's line, whatever his name is. Again, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly, but it's there. I mean, this, these, this is, this, the known document is authentic. It's no question about it. Uh, on the right, it's the same. I mean, the location is the same. The only thing that is different is the boldness of the signatures, the writing. It's all much more bold on the question document. Is it the same size? Um, I think that this size. And let's go ahead and take a look here. We look up here to the top left. Obviously, you can tell which one is the questioned item because they are much more bold than the the ones that we're looking at. Uh, so, anyhow, it just give you some time to to look at it. It's just very similar in size. you uh, know anything about handwriting analysis or just in comparison in general uh, see that they're very similar now you could say well look at look at the top one it's not the same because there's it's it's smudgy and there's certain things that aren't on the bottom one well I think they're actually the same uh, it's just that because it's it, it does look like it's shrunk down a little bit there is a small percentage difference of the size and I just think the quality of it obviously you can tell is just complete junk and that's what's that's what the problem is but I, I really think that it's it's the same as the bottom one I just think it's smaller so let's move on to the uh, I agree HST. Let me go back to something else. You see these right here? Where's my uh, little tool? This thing right here. These dots. This is not a. This is not from his pen. This is not him dotting eyes. It, it almost looks like. See how that has a little. This area here. It, it kind of comes up, and you think, oh, well, he's he's dotting something. No, that's not right. Uh, if you look on the actual other document, you'll see that there's all kinds of little specks all over it. Look at this thing. See, so you can see it, hopefully. There's all kinds of little specks everywhere on here. This here, this little dot here, is no different than this dot down here. So I don't, I don't buy that it's a, how he's dotting his eye or whatever it is. It, I mean, it, it's, a, it's a good question, but um, I don't think that that's the case. This is genuine. I know this is genuine here on the bottom. So I know that this is this is what we're seeing. This this main dot here on the question is the same as this one down here. All right, I agree. HST. Again, you can see these little uh, dots here. They're not seen on the clean document, which is a much better quality, and this is a scanned version compared to this 
supposed majestic document which was copied on a junky copy machine, it would appear. Um, again, size difference. Uh, there is a small difference in size. Uh, the authentic one on the bottom is slightly larger than the one on the top. So it's also consistent with this uh, Hume Hummel's line, whatever it is, however you pronounce it. Uh, sorry, I keep pronouncing it wrong, but it's the same as this. The, the size proportion is also the same. The known document is, is slightly bigger. And here we have it as a whole on the bottom. This way you can see proportion compared to uh, the executive secretary's signature over here on the right, compared to the I agree HST over here. The the uh, the size and the spacing in between everything is I would say it's obviously not identical because it's not exact but um, the, due to the fact that it's much more bold and it's just crappy quality uh, but I think that this is where this forgery came from I'm very certain of that so if you have any questions please let me know uh, you're more than welcome to disagree with me but uh, I'm, all I'm doing is <laughs> I'm trying to show you what how I'm making up my mind here. Other than the body of the message, there is nothing that uh, m mentions Majestic or MJ-12 other than up here at the top they've added a MJ-12 kind of coded reference magic, you know, MJ-12, all this sort of thing with the executive order number. So, anyhow, uh, like I said in the first uh, uh, what, episode four, was it? We've got a couple more minutes, and we're going to go ahead and just wrap it up. But same thing. Um, if you look, if you remember from episode four, uh, it was same quality, and uh, the format is double spaced on the question document, just as it was on the uh, other one in episode four. Um, this one they have this top secret magic eyes only. Um, again, somebody, I don't know if, it, I mean, it, it appears to be stamped, but I don't know if it was typed. Um, you have to remember that uh, a lot of these documents did come from the 1980s, as far as I know. Uh, since then, there's been, don't get me wrong, there's been, uh, ever since then, there's just been all kinds of documents that have been coming through. So, um, yes, now we have the technology to easily forge this and we can copy and paste and do all that sort of thing but at the time that obviously this was done uh, supposedly in the 80s uh, I don't know if they would have had a scanner but definitely a copy machine was the old old way of doing it so that's my take on it uh, this is going in the fake bag and uh, I just think that it's too coincidental um, the location of the I agree HST the almost word for word in each document is just almost the exact same thing. They've only changed names and they've added some other interesting, authentic kind of a feel to it by using this, and, and all, especially on the top. So, anyhow, guys, uh, I will see you in the next episode. We've got more stuff to talk about. Again, I'm not claiming that the Majestic 12 is a hoax or it's a fraud but I do know that there are some fraudulent documents in them so whether it's one or many people creating these documents I don't know some could be real some could be fake uh, so that's my take on it and we'll just keep we'll keep going at it so see you guys next time thanks for watching